Today we're making green tea for people who like alcohol. Because that's what we do. It's common man cocktails. This episode is sponsored by Stefan, Joseph, Linda, Ray, and Amy, and many others. Thanks for supporting the show. You can show your support by donating at everydaydrinkers.com slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today we're creating the green tea cocktail. This recipe was found by me because, huh, well, chartreuse. I, I got this. Where did I get this? I think I ordered this online. That was one of the things I think I ordered. And it was because I had all these recipes submitted to me. And then later on, I found out they're all like the same thing. <laughs> so that's an ABC, uh, ABC shot, which has this in it. And there was a couple other ones I didn't have the other ingredients for. So I wanted to use this because I know this week I already have a shooter planned, the, the, the alien brain hemorrhage. So I didn't want to change that because we already pushed it one episode out. So I'm going to make one a chartreuse drink. Hmm? One week. One week, yeah, because last week we ended up not doing it because we had run into technical difficulties without having our friend Peach schnapps. So we have it this week. This recipe, an ounce and a half of chartreuse. I think that's how you say it. If I'm saying it wrong, you can correct me, and I will fix it in a later video. So this is a strange flavor. I kind of thought it would make sense before I do it in a shooter to really experience it for what it is and see how much it can cut through on this recipe. This recipe built over ice, not <coughs> just on tight. That's what you say, Danke Sharon. I uh, didn't know if another one was coming, impatient. Bitte Sharon. So what I'm gonna do here, building it over ice, I'm gonna start with my ounce and a half. Much like the Long Island iced tea, only green. We've got our green tea. There's an ounce in here, so you've got an ounce of sweet sour mix. I know that because this thing's nice enough to come with actual measurements on the side, which is epic. Um, I don't know where, oh, here it is. So that's done. And then fill with Coke. I don't know if that's enough, uh, if that's too much soda, but what? Whoa, that ice just landed on my toe and I don't have socks on. Because it's like a million degrees up here. Yes. Oh, look at that. So first, just to look at this, this isn't how it's supposed when to be finished. When you add the Coke, it makes it not green. I know. So that, it has a name of green tea. Yeah. Doesn't mean it doesn't taste like it. It does layer on Coke. I know, I saw that. I want my drink to be green if its name is green tea. Yeah, but like the Arnold Palmer green tea is probably not green. What? They have a green tea version. Green tea and uh, freaking ice. I don't know. It doesn't look bad. It's even got chunks of lemon in there. Lime. It's both. Well, I got to make this video, but I'm going to just say it. I should say it every time. That way nobody ever questions me again because I know they're not going to watch the video when they ask it. But my sweet sour mix one ounce of lemon, one ounce of lime, two ounces of simple syrup. Simple syrup is half a cup or a full cup of sugar and a full cup of water, boil it, let it cool. Combine them together. Of course, you're gonna end up with a lot of extra simple syrup, but that's cool. Throw a half a shot of vodka in there, throw it in the refrigerator, you're good for like six months. But, this is getting weird looking. Um, I'm just gonna have to mention that because every single video, and then Dawn sends me a message, how do you make your sweet sour mix last night? After I answered this three times yesterday, you're like, dude, go look it up. Wow. This smells like Volcare absinthe. Like that herbal... Black licorice? Ah, uh, not as... Well, the Volcare doesn't have a... I don't know if I remember correctly. Doesn't have a, an immense black licorice. I don't know where the hell it went. Where this has a whole bunch of stuff. And they don't tell you what's in here. It's just magic. It's magic. Just drink it. Don't make me come over there. Hot. It's Mother's Day. I want to go relax. Okay, I see that. Can't argue with that. I don't know. I think it has green tea quality. It has a lot of herbal attack. The soda, quite honestly, it's not enough to bury the, the flavor of this drink. 
which is awesome because I was afraid that this, because it was like, put this in a Collins glass. I was like, wow, that's a lot of soda for what this is. No, it's not. It's perfect. It gives it a nice body, carbonation, and it cuts through. I just get, I get the flavor of green, green herbs. There is some black licorice, not immense, but you're going to get black licorice. I even almost get um, the bitters from Angostura bitters in here, whatever the secret sauce is for that. It seems all rolled up in here in a very neat herbal bomb, not as strong as a Jaeger, not as potent as absinthe, someplace right in the middle. That's exciting. It's a neat, neat new uh, spirit or liqueur that I've, I've never had a chance to experience and I think this is a good way to do it. Question of the day, chartreuse. Have you had it? Because I just did. Go make yourself a green tea cocktail. We're teaching how to drink.